Everyone, hope everything is going well. I wanted to discuss a few things, and I'm going to shout out this one channel, VG or VVG Club. Yes, uh, at times in the stories we go at each other, but the channel here is not to just only call out the hankus pankus going on. If I see some interesting strategies, I'm going to actually shout that out even if I don't see eye to eye with the individual. And I always believe in the concept of listening to many different opinions and trying to figure out the hobby. And just, you could look at politics, you could look at the stock market. And this is what I encourage everyone to do. Follow everyone, listen to everyone, but, you know, do your own thing. Anyways, I did a video the other day. I uh, got some interesting feedback on it. I just wanted to go to the video. And I said, great opportunities coming head, ahead. And I would say that, hey, look, there are always opportunities. Just because I call out the fraud, the hanky-panky, the loaded boxes, Kurt's card care juice. I do believe, once again, there are opportunities. Now, there were some good comments uh, that I found in this video as well. And I will, um, I'll take a look at one of them. I hate when the commercials go on like that, but uh, let's take a look at some of the comments here. Uh, I like this comment. AI seems like a nice person. I enjoy his videos. That said, he shouldn't be giving investment advice to anyone. Don't risk your retirement money on cards. Yes, do not risk your retirement money on cards. There were individuals during the pandemic, using retirement money for sports cards, using the retirement money for 401ks. I mean, retirement money for collectibles. And that's a huge no-no, okay? Now, if you're taking a little bit of money that you have and you're not risking that much of your net worth, liquid cash, uh, you know, if the money disappears, your collectible disappears, goes down 90% value, that's, and it's not going to impact your overall well-being, you're not going to lose your house, you're not going to lose your car, you're not going to lose your uh, kids' tuition money, and you're being responsible and not risking too much money, I think that's okay. Now, you have to do what's in your best interest, though. And you have to still be responsible. Like Vintage Sports Shack says, don't be stupid, okay? Don't be stupid. And I do like, like some of the things over here, I think was a very uh, interesting point of view. And I look at opportunities, like in the markets also. I mean, I saw, you know, even though I think the whole system is going to be coming, collapsing down because of commercial real estate, there's still opportunities in the stock market, right? I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I see opportunities all the time. Apple just went up like crazy today. GameStop had a great day in the market, and this is what, uh, 611, okay? Now, I'm not telling you to invest in any of that or speculate. I'm just saying, hey, look, this is something that I look at. Anyways, this is his story, VVG Club. Well, how about the story about my debut type one photo purchase? So a few weeks ago, I'm browsing the offerings on Golden Weekly Auction. I see this mug. We all know him by now as he upended the entire retail industry. He's talking about Jeff Bezos. And... um. This is the actual photo used for his high school yearbook in which he graduated valedictorian. That piqued his interest. 
But then he flipped to see the back. It's signed, but Golden made no mention in this listing, and PSA card had in certified auto as authentic. Only the photo. Could I be looking at the earliest autograph of Jeff Bezos lying on the back of my original photo from his high school yearbook? Now my interest was supercharged, so I went hard at this one. Won it for a lofty sum as I figured it was super dope even without the autograph authentication. Send it back to PSA to check the auto. What do you know? It's certainly one of the earliest known Bezos autos lying on the back of his high school yearbook photo. That's crazy. Okay. Like I said, even though I'm going back and forth with this guy, you know, at times, I find this to be very impressive. And there could be gems where you don't even realize there are gems out there to add to your PC or someone speculating, right? And I mentioned something about error listings on eBay or these auction sites. There's so many cards out there sometimes someone's going to make a mistake and if you spend enough time you'll find something now i have a full-time job so i can't do that but i could find something here and there but if you're doing this full-time this is what you got to do this is what you have to do and once again very impressive uh, another thing that he found out, he got this in his collection. He got this off of Golden, it looks like. And it appears that this was sold as a raw ticket. And it was like, what, 4100 bucks on eBay. <laughs> and then it sold for, what, over ten grand. And ultimately, you could get Derek Jeter. This is a debut of Derek Jeter. You know, you could go to like Power Memorabilia or whatever, get it like a thousand dollar sign, slab, and then sell it. Now, once again, there are risks associated with this. I, this is not a strategy that I would do because it's out of my price range for what I want to do. I'd rather put that in stocks. I'd rather put that in bonds. But if I had more money, I would probably do that. If I could play around with, I would probably do that. Like I do this on lower end stuff. Just find a ticket here and like, oh, okay, let me try to get signed by someone famous via TTM or go to Powers Memorabilia and go for there, you know, add to the collection or if I want to speculate, whatever the case is. Still, once again, thinking outside the box. But once again, cards, collectibles are illiquid. So you have to put that into consideration. So that's why it's a huge risk in doing that once again. Two, you have to also be careful, um, you know, with the amount of money you put in. Once again, going back to that comment by this individual, don't risk your retirement money on cards yet. Yeah, don't be putting too much money if you don't have it. If you're having trouble paying your rent, your car, you're in huge debt, don't do that at all. Okay? Reiterate that. Because I don't know who's watching. I know most people here have common sense, but, you know, I'm just going to add that disclaimer. No, don't be stupid, as Vintage Sports Card Shack says. Or vintage sports check says. Because I just wanted to point that out. And you know, just think outside the box. And once again, don't like over leverage, don't do anything dumb like a lot of people did during the pandemic. It's a hobby, you no, know, have fun. That's what we're supposed to do. Um, yes, there's hanky panky, and I will cover that, but just wanted to throw that out there. What are your strategies out there? Where you think outside the box, especially where in a time where, hey, your card's not going to 30x like it did during the pandemic from 2019 to 2021. I mean, that was insane. We're not going to see that again. But anyways, let me know your thoughts and I'll talk to you later. See you. Bye.